Well, Dan Ackerman was at the unveiling of the new products as well. He's the editorial director for Computers and Gaming at CNET. Good to see you again, Dan. So first of all, what do you think about Tim Cook's interview? I think there's a lot of people that would want to be able to afford this experience. Yeah, I think they're dancing around the uh, concept that this initial version of it, this $3,500 version of it, is really not something that anybody expects consumers to go out and buy. Uh, VR headsets that people have bought recently are 300 400 $500. This is much beyond that. It's really a proof of concept, more for software developers to start building stuff for future hardware than this being the thing that's going to be a mainstream hit in stores. Okay, so define future hardware like it, you, you don't think you can get very much more future than what we just saw but tell me what this could actually lead to you think yeah i think this is the first step for apple on a long journey that i know that they want to end up with something that's more like a pair of glasses like i'm wearing now just a regular pair of eyeglasses that can project a lot of the same information into the world in front of you that augmented or mixed reality goal and google did that with Google Glass years ago, and there have been other examples. None of them have really been good enough to be mainstream. Uh, I think this is just the first step, and I know that they want to get there where it's not a giant pair of ski goggles. It's really more like a regular pair of glasses that you could literally wear all day and just use these extra features when you needed them. So there there was one part of, of this, I guess, announcement that stood out to a group of us and we started talking about people that we've lost in our life um, because it, it was touched on in a little bit that you can sort of bring history back or moments back or be where you want to be in the past. Is that possible? Because we were trying to grip how that would happen. Would you need to have an old video? Would you be able to do something with pictures? How, how does that work? Yeah, that's something that even social media has worked on for years. If you go on Facebook, you see, you know, on this day and you can see reflections of past experiences and, and people that you've lost. Uh, and I think people really responded to that in other mediums. So in virtual reality, Apple doesn't call it virtual reality. They call it spatial computing, but it's really, you know, the same thing. I think there's a way to make that more immersive and more real, but you do need those source materials, uh, maybe some uh, videos of people, uh, maybe some other assets that they can build new stuff around. I think it's very interesting. I don't think that you necessarily need a big expensive piece of hardware for that when, you know, Facebook or other social networks uh, or even other uh, Apple software products do a lot of that sort of memory mining for you already. But it is very interesting. And we did talk about this yesterday a little bit, but it, there were a lot of other products that were announced as well. As you've kind of had a day to absorb all this and decompress, you know, what stands out to you that maybe might be more affordable or interesting to just everyday people? Yeah, the headset wasn't, it, uh, it wasn't even the most expensive thing Apple announced yesterday. They have a new Mac Pro desktop that's going to start at $7,000. But on the other end, they took that MacBook Air, that basic laptop that everybody uses, the 13 inch, and now they have a 15 inch version of it. And compared to the prices of the other products they announced at $1299, the 15 inch MacBook Air is, you know, practically a bargain. And frankly, it's only, you know, 200 bucks more than a regular MacBook Air for a bigger screen. Uh, I use the 13 inch version all the time. I'm talking to you from one right now, and it's a great, you know, mainstream device that does almost anything you'd want it to do. Uh, however, if you want a bigger screen because you're on it all day like I am, that seems like a pretty good idea. And considering how long these MacBooks last, uh, $12.99 seems like a pretty good deal for me on something like that. <laughs> all right, Dan, good to see you again. Appreciate you uh, just helping us wave our way through it all. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.